In this tutorial, we'll talk about how to change the background of your VSP workspace. Simply go to Window, choose Background, and that'll bring up this Background Editor. And you can see that by default, we've got about this 95% gray that's a little bit easier on your eyes when you're working for long periods of time. Now you can change the shade and turn this down all the way to black, turn it all the way up to white, and all the way white is very useful for when you want to, say, export a figure to a paper with a white background. That 95% gray will show up as a different color than your paper, but if you turn it all the way up to white and export a screen grab, then you won't be able to see a difference between the background of the image and the background of the paper. So that's a useful thing to remember. Another thing that you can do is, of course, click and drag inside this color window to choose the color that you like as a background. You can change the shade of these as well. Or if you happen to know the RGB value or byte hex or HSV, you can type this in manually, or you can pull those values from somewhere else, say using an eyedropper, and uh, put that color in so that you can directly match the background color of wherever you happen to be putting this image. And speaking of images, another thing that we can do is choose an image for the background. Now this has to be a JPEG or a, a PNG, but Let's use this top view of a Cessna 210 that I pulled from a NASA study. And if we set our view to a top view with our aircraft, you can see that three views are actually very, very useful in quickly laying out the configuration of the aircraft. Now, if we just change our view zoom a little bit here and we get everything lined up, if we've set our dimensions accordingly inside our model and then we set the view so that the layout is right, you can quickly drag and slide, adjust span, sweep, tail placement, all sorts of things to get a layout that's appropriate for your aircraft very quickly without having to go in and try and extract a bunch of stuff. So this is a very fast way to create a vehicle layout that's reasonably accurate to the final configuration. Now it may not be perfect, but for a lot of your run-of-the-mill low-order analyses, this will get you most of the way there, and it's a very powerful application of the tool. So this was a top view example. Of course, you can do the same thing for a side view or a front view and capture the dihedral or the height of the tail, etc. But that's just a number of ways that you can use background to quickly improve your design processes.